Hey, my name is Connor and welcome to Crypto Empire where we dominate the crypto market. In this video, I'll be showing you step by step how to again get the Starknet airdrop as well as this time the Argent Wallet airdrop and the Jedi Swap airdrop which are all on the Starknet network. I get asked all the time to make these airdrop tutorial videos so here's another one. Let's get right into it and let the gains be with you. So StarkNet is a layer two scaling solution for the Ethereum blockchain and the STRK token is expected to be airdropped soon to the early network users. I've already made a full tutorial on how to get the StarkNet airdrop. I made this one around a month ago. You can go ahead and watch it on the channel. I will leave the link down in the description below. I will also leave a card right here. You can click on it will take you right to the video. But today we will be focusing on a different airdrop and you will be able to qualify for the Starkware Starknet airdrop if they didn't take the screenshot yet, but we're also gonna be focusing on the Argent Wallet and the Jedi Swap decentralized application airdrop as well. All right, so big shout out to Olympio Crypto. He is a Twitter account that is always talking about airdrops. He's been talking about Arbitrum for like a year now. He is on it like no other. I suggest that you do follow him if you want to get all the instant updates about all the different airdrops we're going to be using his twitter thread today that was posted to go ahead and do this tutorial so we're going to be using the argent wallet i've already showed you how to make this wallet in this tutorial video but if you have not watched that video if this is your first time seeing this you're going to need to make that argent wallet so what you're going to want to do is go to argent.xyz and you'll be able to install the chrome extension and then you'll be able to make your wallet. You'll get your 12 word seed phrase and your password. You'll make your password. Of course, you wanna keep that 12 word seed phrase off the internet completely in a very safe place. So the first step of this tutorial is to go make your Argent wallet. I've already created it obviously because I used it in that last tutorial video. All right, so step two, we wanna bridge some Ethereum over from the Ethereum mainnet to the Starknet alpha using the Stargate official bridge. So go ahead and click on this link here and it will take you to that official bridge. Connect your MetaMask wallet on the Ethereum mainnet and then connect your Argent wallet. And once we go ahead and connect, we want to go from Ethereum to StarkNet, all right? And I will go ahead and bridge over a little bit of ETH. You don't need that much money for this. $10 should really cover everything that you need to do. So let's go ahead and bridge over 0.01 .01 and we will transfer this. All right, and this is gonna take a little bit of time to complete. This is $12.50 going over, paying like a $4 fee, that's fine. So we'll go ahead and initiate this transfer. Again, this is needed to actually get the Stark Net airdrop. So I suggest that you do this if you have not done this already, but I'm doing it again for this tutorial. So if you have no Ethereum inside of your Argent wallet, you're gonna to have to wait for this transfer to complete. It says here it can take a few hours, but it usually doesn't take that long. I already have some Ethereum, so I'm gonna go ahead and continue on with this tutorial. So let's go ahead and see what we have to do next. Step number three, we wanna make a few swaps using the in-wallet integration between Jedi Swap and Argent, all right? So this is pretty simple here. All we're gonna to wanna to do is click on our Chrome extension in the top right corner of our browser, and then the in-wallet swap feature, we're gonna to wanna to click on these two arrows, right, the circle, and from here we will be able to make a few swaps and we'll just go to USDC to keep it easy. And let's go ahead, so I have 0.09 ETH, let's put 0.05 over, and we're gonna receive, this is $62. Let's put a little less, 0.02 is fine. And let's review the swap. And as you can see, this is using the Jedi Swap application. So hopefully this is gonna give us the Jedi Swap airdrop. All right, that's why we're doing this right now. So we'll approve this. And then we'll make the swap and we're going to do this a few more times just to make sure that we actually go ahead and are qualified fully for the airdrop. So everything here is in beta testing. This is not fully live yet, which is why they're going to give us an airdrop for using it. So I think that first transaction was just an approval. Let's actually see if we can, all right, so it's saying approve again. It's a 35 cent network fee. Hmm, let's try it again. And actually, we're, we're gonna reject it and see what happens here. All right, well, it looks like the the bridge worked. We got the bridge money into the wallet already, and that was like five minutes, which is great. 
All right, let's try this again, 0 0.02 to USDC. And we will review, approve. That's all it is showing us right now. Very interesting, pending transactions. All right, looks like I did a double transaction here. We will go ahead and wait for this to go through and I will report back with the update. Okay, so it looks like the first swap just went ahead and went through for $25 in Ethereum. And we have another one going through right now, another 25 into USDC from Ethereum. So we'll go ahead and wait for this one to finish and we will then proceed on. So just to make it very clear for this tutorial, I'm gonna do another swap. You should do this a few times, maybe five times minimum, just so that you make sure you're qualified for the airdrop. Now I'm gonna go from USDC into DAI and I will put all $24.86 into it. I'm gonna lose about 40 cents from fees and slippage, etc. But we're just gonna to try to get as many transactions on Jedi Swap as we can here. Looks like the second transaction is now progressing along further. So this takes some time to do these transactions. You would think that it would be quicker on a layer two, but we're working through it this is how it is right now so i'll report back when this is finished all right so that second transaction that i did from ethereum to usdc just went through here give them five stars and we're not going to rate them today but yeah that second transaction just went through so we have more funds in usdc swapped from ethereum here so you get the point make some swaps on jedi swap all right very important to get the jedi swap airdrop let's go back to our guide here so we just did step number three. Step number four, this is optional. Provide liquidity in Jedi Swap. If they ever make an airdrop, which is not confirmed, this could be an eligibility criteria. I should have mentioned in the beginning of the video, this is not confirmed, all right? Now, you're, now you know, do this at your own risk. This is not financial advice. Just making this tutorial for everybody that is always asking me about those airdrop tutorial videos. I enjoy doing it. So now let's go to Jedi Swap over here and say we understand the risks and we also are going to connect our wallet and we will connect and we are in the StarkNet mainnet which is perfect and we just get another transaction to go through from our little swaps in the wallet exchange which is cool all right so this is a uniswap clone pretty much pancake swap clone very simple to use if you've ever interacted with any DeFi protocols before so we will go ahead and add some liquidity to ETH and USDC. And let's put $10 each, $20 total. And we will supply and confirm. Hopefully this will be enough for us to get the airdrop. Who knows? But that is that. We went ahead and did the transaction. And I'm going to also do another transaction, swap this die back into ETH, like so. All right, so we'll get as many transactions as possible for this video of me swapping. All right, so that's going from die back to Ethereum. And we have also went ahead and added some liquidity. We will come back to this when it goes through because as we know, it takes some time for these transactions to actually go ahead and go through. It's pending right now. So that's step number four right now, which is optional. All right, so step number five is to participate in the new Argent StarkNet NFT giveaway. This is probably how we're gonna get the Argent airdrop, all right? So first we want to go to this link here. I will leave this thread down in the description below for your convenience. And this is the new giveaway the new NFT, StarkNet people. We are giving away this masterpiece, a part of the Meet the Dap series. We explained how to order in RTWRK on pixels. We order this Arginx pixel, yada, 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 yada. All right, let's connect our wallet and sign. Connect. Step two, tweet. You will be able to review the tweet before it's sent. Do not remove the code from the tweet. All right. So we're gonna be forced to tweet something here. If you guys see me tweet this on my Twitter account, this is why for the tutorial. And we're gonna tweet it. Cool, it's tweeted. All these airdrops make you tweet. They want the free publicity. 
All right, so post the URL of your tweet below. So now we can grab our tweet, hit the share button, copy link to it, and we will post the link here, paste it, and validate. You're all set. Your participation has been taken into account. On January the 9th at 7 p.m., we'll randomly pick the winner amongst participants. Okay, so that's it. We did it. As you can see, we just did all of these steps. All right, so make sure we do this by uh, this specified date here, January the 9th. It's the 4th right now. So that is the entire video. Let's go back to Jedi Swap super quickly. All right, this is still pending. So anyways, guys, after I actually get these LP tokens, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit stake up here. Uh, you can't even do that yet. All you can do is provide liquidity. All right, or you can do one click, uh, one sided liquidity providing, whatever you prefer, just put some liquidity into Jedi Swap for that airdrop, but this is the whole tutorial right here. So in this video, I showed you how to get the StarkNet, Jedi Swap, and the Argent X wallet airdrop. This is all speculation, nothing is really confirmed, but Olympio Crypto is on it. I wanted to show you guys how to do it in video form for your convenience and ease of access. I hope that you did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you let me know by smashing that like button down below. And if you are brand new to Crypto Empire and you are not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead right now and smash that subscribe button down below and turn on all the notifications so that you don't miss any future videos. And my name is Connor from Crypto Empire and I will see you in the next video.